it's Jason here again and today I want to share with you a metal rhythm technique called inverted power chords. Now, just inverted power chords sounds pretty metal. Metal! 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 Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Let's get to the power chords. Okay, let's take a deeper look into the inverted power chord. <laughs> Basically an inverted power chord, you're going to start on your root note as you would a normal power chord, but instead of playing the fifth note, I believe you'll be playing the third note instead. So it'll be your root note and your third note instead of the fifth. And I'm going to go through the riff that I was playing in the beginning of the video. I'll play it for you real quick without all the little extras. So here's, here's what it sounds like. Now if I were to play that with the regular power chords, it would sound like this. The inverted power chords just gives it a little bit more flavor, if you will, kind of like steak sauce or hot sauce. Anyway, it's just a good change up and, and you hear inverted power chords played a lot in certain certain metal songs that metal bands play. But I'll, I'll share the breakdown with you here. In this case I'm playing in the key of B minor. So I'm starting out with my B chord, which sets the regular B power chord. Instead I'm playing it though, I'm playing it on the first two strings and I'm starting out on my B note on the first string which is the seventh fret and my second note which will be my third note I'm playing up here on, on the uh, second string fifth fret so playing them together sounds like this so that's the B inverted power chord and then I move to the A inverted power chord which again is your root note and your third note. So the A I'm going to start on the first string, fifth fret. And then the next note will be on the second string, fourth fret. Now my next note, the third note, is going to be the F sharp. And I will start on the first string, second fret. And then the second string will be open. And the final power chord, inverted power chord, will be a G, and that of course is on the first string, third fret, and the second string, it will be almost like you're playing just a regular G chord, it'll be 3-2, it'll be first string, third fret, second string, second fret. So again, you've got this sound. And that's pretty much it. You can take you can take that structure and play it anywhere on the fretboard. And the other cool thing about inverted power chords, it also gives you a little bit more freedom sometimes. Like if you're playing a regular B. You can move around a little bit there, but if you're playing the inverted B, you've got a little bit more space to move around in, in different areas. So, And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm just moving that second note around on the fretboard, just different places. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to play that. Just make sure you're, you're in the right key, obviously. And uh, if you hit the wrong note, well, you'll hear it, right? <laughs> So anyway, that's pretty much it. That's the inverted power chords. One more thing I want to show you. If you want to take this a step further, you can play the third note. And I'll show you this just on the B inverted power chord. You would play your root note, then your third note. Then you would add your third note in there.
which is your fifth note. So. The chord, the inverted power chord on that sounds, to me it sounds a little bit more full, got a little bit more punch to it. And instead of just strumming the chord, if you want to pick down, So anyway, that wraps it up for the inverted power chords. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.